channel. This is Nola Trucking. I'm Matt. Liz is back there. Uh, we're about to head out to our pickup. We're gonna get there a little early. Uh, we're gonna bank on them having it ready. Uh, this is a FedEx Ron that usually takes us home. The last, I don't know, the last few times we've been running this one. It's uh, Charlotte, North Carolina to uh, Pocono Summit, PA. It is a solo run, straight shot kind of deal. Pick it up, run, get there. Uh, and then we're gonna head home right after. Get everything adjusted here before we take out. Uh, yeah, we're gonna probably try to make it back to the house. Uh, and we are going to take some time off. So it kind of lines up perfect. Good rate gets us uh, to the area we want to be in. Yeah, all in all, it's good. Uh, last time we got there, it was ready like uh, like an hour early. And a friend that runs this one, he's had it up to like an hour and a half, two hours early. Uh, the very first time we ran it, it was like 30 minutes late for the drop dead time, like the total end. Um, so who knows, we're gonna get there and see. Uh, if not, I mean, we can drop the trailer and just kind of park on their lot until it's ready. Either way, uh, if it's later, it's just later in the night that we get home. So we're gonna get over to Charlotte and see what happens. Made it over here. Let's go get checked in. See if our trailer's ready. Well, the gamble didn't quite pay off. Uh, we were getting here at 5.30. Our appointment's realistically at 8.30. Last time they had it ready at 6. So we were just trying to stretch it to see how how early we could get it. So it looks like it's loading now. They're gonna call us when it's ready. Shouldn't be too long. So it'll probably be around six, which is fine. It can be time to get um, my hours back from the drive over here. And then the plan is I'm gonna drive my, uh, my hours up until I would need a 30 minute break and then we'll switch. So that should give me about 490 miles into the trip. Liz will do the other 140, 150, whatever it is, and then the drive home. Uh, but the drive home, we could stop and, and uh, recoup hours if we need to, which is, is good. Whereas this time we're trying to get there before, they usually send two BCOs, and for whatever reason, the last two times that we've done this run, there hasn't been a second trailer, so uh, I want to get the trailer, get it hooked up, check it out, and then just get back on the road, get home, you know, get down to our parking spot. That way we're not under any time crunch. We don't have to find parking at like 8 or 9 in the evening up in Pennsylvania of all places. So we're just going to kind of play it by ear. I'm going to drop the trailer here, and then uh, we're going to go... I don't know, maybe put eyes on the trailer. I don't know if we're going to hook up to it or if we're just going to wait for them to, to call. But uh, we'll figure that part out later. Well, our gamble did not pay off very well. Uh, it is early. It, it's 7.30, so we're about an hour early. They just called us and said it was ready. But it's not as early as it was last time, so... Gotta make it through this crazy traffic and uh, get hooked up. It's it was literally an eye shot of uh, where we were parked the whole time we were waiting. But uh, we called him like 30 minutes ago, and he said it just wasn't ready. But he kept saying it should be ready soon, and that's the same thing he told us at like 5:30. It wasn't ready that soon. It was a little while. What are you gonna do? All right, just stopped at a rest area. We're about 200 miles in. 
Stopping there, we're not taking a break. And there's a tour bus, and all the kids are standing right next to the trailer. So, like I said, once I start moving, they will get out of the way. And they did. So we were making a really good time up until uh, 81 started doing 81 things. So uh, there was an accident, mile marker like 222, something like that. So pretty close to the house. It's pretty common on 81, especially when, when it gets wet. Two lane roads, mountainous, people make terrible choices. And it closes it down for quite a bit because of the two lane thing. So the cleanup process just jams everything up. So they had one lane closed, which is terrible for the uh, flow of traffic, but you know, hopefully everyone was okay. The uh, accident didn't look too bad, but you know, what are you gonna do? So we'll, uh, we'll pick up a little bit later. I have 167 miles to go, and then uh, we're gonna switch there so Liz can get us the rest of the way and back to the house tonight. Just got to the rest area that we're going to switch at 450 60 miles in something like that uh that's about half to get there and then back home uh update on the uh windshield leaking so it looks like while we're rolling 100 percent dry which is a far cry from what it was before but when we sit still there is a little drip so i need to Get back up there and maybe see what's going on with one of the lights. I did notice that one of the seals was kind of pushed out a little bit, so I'll have to check that on a nicer day. Uh, but it did stop raining, so it's not a huge concern right now. Uh, but we're going to switch here. Liz is going to get us to FedEx and uh, going to get this dropping hook done. Well, we made it. Now I just have to see... If I remember the one time that we came here and they were open where the office is, but I'm sure we can figure it out. Well, Liz went inside to uh, give them the paperwork and stuff. This has got to be the freshest trailer that we have ever hooked up to. Uh, this is a late model 2022. So I haven't seen any 2023s because, you know, there was like a whole trailer shortage for a while. But, uh... Yeah, this one is minty fresh. Those placard holders don't even look like they've ever been used. Let's see what what the uh, uh let's see what the hub mileage. Wow, this has 1,485 miles on it. I believe it. This is fresh, fresh. Well, I'm gonna hook up to it, check it over, I guess, and. Uh, then uh, Liz will drive us out of here. That's kind of weird. Um, well, we are done. I ended up doing a 30 minute break here to see all of my hours. I might be able to make it down to um, the Stanton area without taking a 30 from here with what I had left on the clock, but it would have been cutting it tight and 81 is not a road that I want to uh, <laughs> count on their not being traffic on. So, we ate some dinner. We finished up the pre-trip on this brand new trailer. And now, I'm going to get back, back on the road and drive until about, about 11 tonight. Hopefully we can get home and start our time off. It's been exactly one week since we uh, did that last run, the first part of this video. We never made an outro, just kind of went home. Didn't really do much with trucking or YouTube or anything like that. But since then, we've been working on the truck quite a bit, uh, customizing it. So I think we showed the cabinets on the last video or maybe the one prior. Uh, we got a cutting board, sliding cut out, uh, sliding cutting board, uh, it's on rails is what I'm trying to say. And then uh, Liz put handles on the cabinets and we uh, trimmed up the front fascia and put some, um, I guess, what do you call it, seal it? Uh, 
like the almost like a weather seal. stripping yeah. yeah like a rubber seal uh let me show that all right so this is our cabinet space here uh like i said has the uh handles i guess the lock uh and then liz did this nice organization here i uh, got a little tray but all these are our spices uh super uh satisfying organization there and then um like we had talked about the cutting board slides out has the uh the juice tray and everything so that goes back in and it is uh secure enough that it's not going to come out while we're driving so the other part we mounted the uh, playstation up here uh so the cords are temporary i'm gonna go up and around to kind of hide them uh but super happy with that it is solid like you can shake the whole truck by the mount there so i don't think we're gonna have any problems yeah it's just been a bunch of uh kind of making the the truck more livable and uh, more organized so we have more space uh, it's like nothing's crazy expensive it just takes a little bit of time and modification because everything that you do uh has a truck tax on it so uh things cost a lot more unless you're down to like modify it yourself which is what we've been doing spending some time and making the stuff work um, so i think we're gonna end this video here we're gonna get a, a video out um probably gonna hit the road next monday tuesday wednesday something like that so probably another three or four days of of uh vacation and then back to the grind so thank you guys for watching and we will catch you on the next one